Good afternoon and welcome to the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup quarterfinal action here today at the Sydney Superdome. China taking on France. The winner will move on to the semifinal. But if that woman, Gabby Williams, has anything to say about it for France, she is going to put up a fight and hopefully bring her team into the semifinal. Shona Thorburn alongside Azania Stewart bringing you today's action. Hello, Shona, and I'm excited for our third quarterfinal game. We've already seen two, and uh, Canada book their uh, ticket in. That was fantastic. And then, um, obviously, the US were earlier this morning. So the ladies are, are out the back, and they've put on a show for these quarterfinals. The lights go out, dancers come up, and lights get shining. But for me, uh, for the Chinese team, a well-rounded team. They have great post players. Hang Shu playing incredible. She's putting up big, big numbers. Ninia double-double every game. She scored 13, 18, 12 points, 6 points, and 10 points, and a whole lot of rebounds. But the French, how are they going to stop the Chinese? And for me, they've started to really get better and better. They're getting more production, not just Gabby Williams, as she's put up 12 points, five rebounds, four assists, and four steals in their last game, which they lost uh, to Serbia, 62-68. But who cares about that? They're here in the quarterfinals, and they're finally getting production from Futuks, I felt like has been playing very, very well. What I'm a little bit worried about is uh, Liana Rupert, zero points last game. She was one from five, but we need a little bit more production from her. But Sarah Michelle hitting down shots. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm excited for this game. All games have been really good, but this one is a crucial one. How they're yeah. gonna bring down the Chinese. I agree with you, Azania. You talked about a few players there for France. They need people stepping up, and if there's a time to do it, it's here in this quarterfinals. Futuks, I think she's had a good tournament. Gabby Williams, we can't say enough about her. 100%, I agree with you, Azania. Who else is going to score for them? Defensively, I think they can do it. But can they do it on the offensive end? Yeah, and Chateau, we can't forget about her. She had 16 points, really found that mid-range jumper. She can post up also, but they need production. They've got to hit wide open shots. They cannot afford to miss any easy layups because China capitalized. And you know why? As soon as they either turn over the ball or miss it, they're out like a flash. Boom, they're going, they're off to the races. And uh, they're such an exciting team, the Chinese, they're ready. This China team is one of the best Chinese team I have seen in recent years. I have absolutely been ecstatic every time I've watched them. And talk about different players stepping up for them every game. I think there's one through seven who could easily be the high scorer of this China, Chinese team. Talk to me a little bit about some of their players. Well, that's a great point, actually. They're putting up, they have put up 107 points against Korea, a weaker team, but they put up 95 against Puerto Rico. Uh, they've done an incredible job, but right, I've talked about the post players who are obviously my favorite, uh, the two Twin Towers, but Lee Mang for me. Boy, is she good, ladies and gentlemen. She can do it all. She wants the ball in her hands and the shining moments. She's put up uh, 16 points uh, last game, but she does take a lot of shots. She was seven from 23, so she takes 23 shots uh, of the offense for China. Well, she is a big part of China's success so far. Can they make it to the quarterfinals? and beat France. We will find out in, well, about an hour and a half until the game will be over. But gosh, are they talented. Averaging almost 90 points a game compared to France, just 64 points a game. So we are going to take a quick moment for the playing of the national anthems. And first up, it's going to be the national anthem of France. Well, a little bit of quarterfinals there. Sorry about that. USA beat Serbia earlier, 85 to 55. We just witnessed France 
uh, sorry, Puerto Rico losing to Canada. So Canada with an opportunity to medal. So there you see it. We have Canada playing in the USA in the semifinal tomorrow. We will find out after this game who's going to move on, China or France, and they will play the winner of Belgium or the USA. And now we will have a quick pause for the anthems. Now, the national anthem of France. the national anthem of People's Republic of China. is my favorite bit as you see the crowd they've got their wigs and their flags on hey and we forgot about the crowd the chinese have probably been the highest uh, the fans have been coming in here filling out the house so that's exciting that's definitely going to help them get over the finish line yep it's almost like that sixth man for this chinese team with how many china fans are here so today's referees is my Major Forsberg from Denmark, she's the crew chief, along with Martin Vulic from Croatia and Blanca Cecilia Burns from the United States will be calling today's action. And we have to congratulate the referees also, right? Because they uh, get critiqued and they make it through to this round. And there's Gabby Williams, no doubt she will be ready to come out on fire and all cylinders and what i've really enjoyed about her she's known for her defense right she's won multiple defensive players of the year there you see at points 15.6 she's really looking for her offense uh, with gruder out with uh, johannes out uh, she's had to step up into that scoring role yeah, you said it. So coach jean M. A. Tupin, he took over after Valerie Garnier with that bronze medal at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, which was played last summer. So he has been the head of this French team since the November window. And uh, we'll get to see lineups very, very soon. China, uh, I think they're going to try and get out and run and get out in transition. Obviously, they've been like that, but I think this is a good game plan for them. I think the best thing about China to me is their assist per game, 28.2. And also that woman right there, who she has been good for a long time, Li Yuiru, and she is only... 23. 23 years old. Yep. Well, coach Do you think we'll Zhang Wei took over in February. <laughs> If they win, she might crack a f smile. She does cheer on her team with the claps, but she is very serious. And let's hope that if they win tonight, we will see her smile. But what a job she has done. I thought China in that February uh, Olympi uh, sorry, World Cup qualification window were spectacular. And I really think it's since she has taken over for them after the Olympics, after the uh, Asia Cup, she has done great things with them. And as I mentioned, 
This is a team that in one game, I believe it was against Puerto Rico, they averaged 41 assists Six. on 41 yes. made baskets. Yes, that was that a beautiful is, stat. Yes, yeah. that is, you know, it's the first time that has happened since I believe they said it was the 1994. It was called the FIBA World Championships at that time. So they really do share the ball well, do. don't they? And and you know what? And they find they give up that good shot for a great and even an excellent shot. Their players get in the right spots. They know exactly where they should be. They shoot the ball at a good clip. We did see them front rim a couple because uh, the t tired legs, but they had that day off yesterday. I, I don't doubt that they probably had a little practice as we get to see the French starting five. Well, they're the starters for France. We have Marine Fautux, who you said you think she's been playing great. Chartereau, Sarah Michelle, the captain, Anna Tadic getting the start over Badian, and Gabby Williams, the go-to player for France. That's interesting. Maybe a little scout change up. Uh, well, Sorry. Their, their starting five's been solid. The it same has five. been yeah. solid, and it's been the same starting five, so switching things up for China. Wang Siyu, Yang Liwei, Li Mang, Huang Xijing in the lineup, Ooh. and Li Yueru. Well, so both coaches switching things up here. I knew, I really thought that they were holding on to Huang Xijing, number 11. I think she was a little bit injured going into this tournament, and they are saving her for a push to the final. And I think we're seeing it here tonight because she's in the starting lineup. She's what do you think? Of, she's one of your favorites. She is. I can hear the excitement in your <laughs> voice, Shona. Yes, and, and even last game, she had 10 points, and we just started to see her get more comfortable. She was shooting her a three-point shot. She hadn't really been looking for herself. And there you see the sixth time qualifying for the World Cup in the quarterfinals, so that's a nice step for the French. Can they get over that hump and win the quarterfinals? Because it has been many, many years, many, many World Cups since they have played in a semifinal. I think it dates back to the early 2000s. Interesting, okay. And uh, China's lost their three quarterfinal games, played at the World Cup, so that's not a stat that you, you no, want yeah, to change. Last you want three, to change. So. Yeah. Like I said, this is a very scary China team. They are very, very strong. And if they don't medal here, I, I personally think it's a disappointment. What I'm also really excited about is Paris 2024 at the Olympics because they will be two years older and they're still a young team. So look at that, the TSO countdown tip off just under a minute to play as France are taking on China. Well, I can catch my breath for a second for this last minute countdown because even the build up to this game has been super exciting. The lights came out, the dancers came on, and they've definitely set the scene for the third game of the day. Well, that's a lot of basketball. It's been fantastic so far. We covered the last game, uh, Canada versus Puerto Rico, and earlier was USA getting their tickets. So two more tickets to the semifinals. It's game time, Shona. And we know the winner of this game will move on to the semifinal and either play Australia or Belgium, which will be on tomorrow night. And just about tip off here. Welcome to the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup here at the Sydney Superdome, down under. China taking on France for a spot in the semifinal as the captain misses her shot. That was Yang Li Wei off the mark. So good defense there by France to start the game. Michelle now. 
to Chartereau. That's a deep two-point shot, good. and it's good. And that is a great sign if you're a France fan. A great sign, exactly what we talked about. She's been feeling herself, and that's so good to see your first shot go in the basket. And now Huang Xijing all the way to the basket, and I knew there was a reason she was in the starting lineup, folks. Full court pressure here by China. As they need to get it over. Well, they do. And a turnover. And Li Meng with the steal. She thought about it. She won't hesitate if she's open for too long. How about that? Li with the offensive board. They go back inside to her. And Tadic there, she needs to move her feet a little bit better. I thought she did a good job putting pressure. Well, Lee, Yueru with her first basket of the game. Yeah, and she's averaging 10 points per game. That was a nice little post move from her. Michelle, stripped, gets it back. Six Shot clock. clock. Yeah. Fotux, they need to give her one. Well, she creates on her own. That's a tough shot. Somehow she makes it, though. How did she do that? She begged for the screen, had to make something up, and puts it up. Good defense, but they leave Huang Xijing off the mark. Another no. Almost an offensive rebound for Li Yuiru. Williams kicks to Michelle. Nice inside pass. Not sure how that was not called a foul, but it was called a foul by Wang Siyu. And good job there by the referee on the baseline because she did have Chartero's hands. Yeah, good job by Alexa there. She shot the sh ball with just one hand. One, the other hand was missing somewhere. But also Gabby Williams driving. We've seen her, we've seen her put that up uh, and she chose to pass it. I don't mind that, though, because the game that we did see France lose yeah. was the one against Serbia, which really upset their standing in Group B, and they also lost to Canada. They relied heavily on Gabby Williams just playing one-on-one -on, -one on her own. Good point. And I think that's a good penetration and pass yeah. Yeah. And where the first few games, well, the games in the group phase, we saw her trying to put up incredibly tough shots. Okay. Huang Xijing. Going to work against the smaller Sarah Michelle. But that leaves a wide open three from the corner. And there's the second offensive rebound for Lee. They've got to box out Lee. Nice hands by Michelle. Three on one. Williams takes it all the way. Great transition bucket by France. Oh, she was flying on that layup. Lee. That's kind of what you give up because you saw Sarah Michelle go dig in on the post because they're so worried about Lee. Yang cuts to the basket, nice pass from the big. Really nice pass from Lee, well done. Seeing the double come, nice drop off pass. Michelle to Fotux. Fotux now, she's got the bigger player on her, kicks it up to Michelle, shot clock. Tough shot by Sarah Michelle is off the front of the rim. Now China are out running. They're gonna slow it down. Skip pass, Wang is left open. And that's a box out. No, did you see that? They both <laughs> transitioned to her. So they're leaving one player open. China needs to see that. They're putting two players on her. Gabby Williams. Well, she's not able to score, but strong tape by Gabby Williams as she draws a foul and we'll get to go to the free throw line. How do you like this? We just see, well, there's that great take, and it's true, I think uh, Li Yuiru. The, um, yeah, go ahead. Li, Li Yuiru from China, number 14, came in a little bit late, late, and that was a fast break. But look at this, we've seen Coach Tupan mm -hmm. go to his bench and put in Siak, who has played very, very limited minutes for France, only three out of their five games in group play. But she is the tallest player. She's the tallest player, she's strong. Uh, and just a big body. Great start here by France. They are up 10 to 6 with just under four minutes. And 
Shatteru gets a hand on that incredible steal and gets it back. Fotux in transition. Williams. Jump shot at the free throw line is good. Boy, oh boy, is she good, isn't she? Shona gets to her spot right there at the free throw line. Short little jump shot here, sets her feet. Beautiful, little pops it up. As Time out. Coach Zhang Wei wants to talk about it, and France off to a hot start early in this first quarter. Well, the goat of Chinese basketball, that man right there. Yao Ming in the building. He's been at all the games. And Gabby Williams already off to a hot start. Six points. We questioned France's scoring. I thought they could stay with them defensively, which they have proven so far. And scoring, I've been very impressed with how aggressive they have come out early in this game. As tough layup, Sarah Michelle reaching in, she just hang, hold, held on, excuse me, to La Yang Liwei, the captain. Well, the referees are calling fouls. We've seen it all day today. Maybe a little bit more than we saw earlier in the group phase. And a good job out of the timeout of China to just attack that French defense. Yeah, you're so right. Throughout this tournament, it's been very physical, very tough around the rim. And a few more, so why not drive to the basket, see if you can get a foul. And Sarah Michelle there gets the rebound. One for two at the line. Short to roll. Up to Fotux. Fotux, what a screen by Siak. And that's the defense. Look at this. It's going to lead to a wide open fast break point for Yang. And that's how China scores so quickly, Shona. You blink, and they're at the rim. Well, you can hear all the China fans in the building. What a representation they have had and the support of this Chinese women's basketball team. Michelle, nowhere really to go, and a foul is going to be called on number nine, Limang. And we now see Rupert come in, her first minutes of this game. Burkini up to Michel. They look inside to repair. Another turnover by France. And that might be an intentional almost. I'm not sure she really made a play on the ball as Wang goes all the way to the basket. She was in front of the ball. No, she does. Uh, but the transition defense for France if they make or miss, they need to get back immediately because I spoke about this at the start of the broadcast. Wow, China are so, so good. Points off of turnover, China just under 19 a game. And after that timeout, they have come out and forced France into a couple turnovers which have led to easy baskets for China. 
Unfortunately, Wang, though, only made one of two, but a hustle for the ball is going to go back to China. Oh, good call by the referee. Yeah. Yeah. Three-point shot in the corner is Lee Mong, folks. And the crowd love it. They put up the three. Man, she's so good, Shona. I have really enjoyed her this World Cup. Burkini. Sarah Michelle with the hustle isn't able to come up with it. And now China. Pull things out. They're going to slow it down a little bit. There's a mismatch inside. They find Lee. What a shot and finish. Great job there by China. And it's almost like they just needed to wake up a little bit. Yeah. Maybe they're just a little nervous, maybe. I don't know. But they're back in the game and they're finding their main scoring. Uh, Lee there posting up down low. I love it. Burkini hits a three, wide open. She took her sweet time. Hey, it's nice to see her shooting some shots and not her floaters, her <laughs> usual floaters. Well, it didn't play a whole lot in their last game as Li Mong, deep shot is off. And the fight for the rebound goes back to China. And an easy and one for number nine, one of our favorite Chinese players. Li Mang. Yeah, and the thing is, it's a shame about that turnover from uh, Sarah Michelle there. They're going to capitalize. That is a foul. Uh, and that's it. And this is what the, there's the three point shot, excuse me. The error, the space for error is so small. If you turn over the ball, uh, trying to really capitalize on those moments. So they really need to secure the rebound as they hit the second free throw. Or oh, the and one, excuse me. And now France, after that hot start, are trailing by three to China with just over three minutes here to play in the first quarter. Rupert, spin move, shots off. And they call a foul after the fact. Rupert pulling down the hand, Mr. Referee said. And uh, Shona, that's Rupert's second foul. And we're still in the first quarter, yeah. so, yep, he... Well, we see Tadage checking yep. in. No surprise, she's going to have to go to the bench. And this is what this Chinese team can really do to you because they are tall. You know, they have an average height of around 6'1 because they also have some small guards. But as soon as you go in to the front court, gosh, they are really, really tall. Well, it's only the fourth team foul, so that's why the ball is going back on the other end of the court, but it is going to be China ball. Li Meng inside, finds the mismatch. Li Yuiru. Well, it gets tipped out to the shooter, Li Mong, and what a start for her as she now has 10 points in this first quarter, Azania. Make that nine points, Shona. She's hot from the three, nice little floater, and misses, but she, don't let her get hot, because she likes to fill it up. Here come China, nice hands. And they have to double the big, but that leaves shooters open. And Huang Xijing just not able to score. 
And again, we're seeing Li Yuan, number four, in for the game. She has played limited minutes. Goodness me, and that's another three-pointer by Li Mong, and France has to call a timeout. I told you. You better guard her. Boy, oh boy, is she going to hit. She lets one fly. Time running out. Heat check. She is hot. Well, what a run after that timeout by China early in this quarter as they are up now nine on France. Let's try and listen in. Well, well needed timeout, and they're on a 9 0 run since pretty much when China took their timeout, they've been on fire. They've been extra uh, hustle, possessions, hitting the boards. So well needed for the French. Let's see if they can have the same kind of reaction out of the timeout like we saw the Chinese players. And a full court press here. China now into a zone, it looks like. So begging France to shoot those long shots, which have not been falling in this tournament as they're only 24%. Williams, shake and bake. That is a very tough two-point shot, but it's good. Boom. And Siak says yes, because, man, the time was literally on zero. And she gets the shot up and she hits it. Well-needed bucket by the French. Yi Wan who did not, has not played a lot. Nice cutting. Oh, what passing by China. We talked about it before the game. They just can't finish. As now Williams, three on two opportunity. She finds Torre, Torre, three point shot. So a great job by France. Five consecutive points after that timeout by Tupan. Yang. And the hot hand in this quarter by China. They go inside to Lee, and she's going to be called for a foul on Marine Futux, who came in from the help side. And Futux is saying, I don't know. Let me see this. I would have to agree. I think that's, a that's what you ask your players to, to do, do defensively. So disappointing as she is going to get to the talk to the referee and ask about it. I think that's a good choice by her and ask, hey, there's not much more I can do. She's much bigger, she's stronger. I kept my hands up. <laughs> Lee misses the second. Now Futux. Good job there by Li Yuan. And that's a tough shot, but she makes it. So we're going to have one last offensive possession for China. Shot clock at 15. Incredible finish there. And they get it to the hot hand. Michelle, though, and now Minya Torre and Sarah Michelle tying up Limang. So, shot, sorry, shot clock, game clock is 3.6, ball back to France. Yeah, possession error, and this is so smart here. They literally just smother her. They know she's not going to pass off the ball at that moment. Well, how about that to end the first quarter, folks? What a game do we have for you. 
Look at this, at the buzzer, Mina Torre. The one-footed three-point shot, and she ties the game 25 to 25 after 10 minutes of action. And that is exactly it. It's action, Shona, 25-25. It's a tie game at the end of the first. And here are the stats. Three from three, 100% from the three-point line for France, shooting a very good clip. Pretty even across the line from the two, both teams shooting 60%. And guess what? We get to watch the best players of the first quarter. And man, has it been a fantastic, energized, physical, exciting game. I know I'm probably going to lose my voice by the end of this game, but it's been action-packed. Gabby Williams has definitely been the star, and she's getting help from her French teammates. Well, Isania, you and I have been jumping off our seat, and it's only been 10 minutes of game action. Both these teams, both the coaches, excuse me, having to use a timeout, and their teams responded. Yeah, yep. yep. I would have to agree with you on that one. That's a good point. And what else is a good point? Go ahead and download your courtside 1891 to keep up with all the scores. Second quarter action underway here at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. A fight for the semifinal spot. China and France tied. Lee. Tough jump shot. No, it's a pass. And great job there to tie up the ball is Siak. So ball back to France. Another possession arrow here. Look, she can't get hold of that. Siak does a good job. You know what? I kind of like this defensive plan that the, the French have for their post Packing players. in the paint. Packing it in. Solid brick. And a steal. Well, Yuan has not played a lot in this tournament, but when she has, she's been very efficient. So good job, nice full court defense pressure here by China. Fotux gets it back. Chartero. France, they gotta put it up, but they turn it over to Lee, and now China with an opportunity to run. Huang to Yang. The foot race too fast. Not one French player got back in there, and there was many Chinese on that transition. I told you they're so far, Shona. They really are, and they're so unselfish, especially in the fast break transition type situation. Well, good defensive job there. They tip the ball, but it's going to stay France ball with 4.9 seconds on the shot clock. I think France, whoever's taking the shot up, needs to crash the boards, and at least three, even four, need to get back in transition. You can't have too many crashing the boards because China really leak out. Now Williams, it's a tough three-point shot, front of the rim, and Wu Tong Tong, who just checked into the game, picks up her first rebound. Almost turns it over. Wong. I told you, they've been saving her, Azania. Yeah. <laughs> and, another, and now France will take a timeout. Great execution there by Lee. Look at this, she just waits for the double, splits it, open shot. Great execution. So, Jean-Aimé Tupin wants to talk about this before it gets out of hand, as this is a 6-0 run for China. Let's listen in. Okay, 
Là, on part sur des choses simples. Oh, tu pars et elle est ici, Alexia ici. Tu joues là, tu rentres là, tu t'écartes. Tu regardes, tu n'as rien, mais en main à l'opposé. Ok Mais en main, toi, tu remontes ici. Toi, tu es là. Ok Et ce qui nous fait chier en attaque, en attaque on ne pose pas d'écran. On ne peut pas les démarquer. Attendez les écrans. Ok Allez. Here's a lovely little steal. That stat right on the, on the screen, zero offensive rebounds for France and six for China. Like I said, nobody's uh, getting in there and getting second opportunities. I think they get the sh take one shot and run back on defense. They've got zero offensive rebounds. Now Williams bringing the ball up for France. China again in that zone. Well, that foul is going to go against Zhang. And I keep talking, well, we keep talking about, I want to call them the stars of China because they have absolutely been playing like that. But all tournament long, we have seen great, great bench production by China as well. And that's why they are a very, very dangerous team. Michel. Well, Wu Tong Tong is going to be called for a foul. Yeah, and uh, I would have to agree with you by that as Hang Shu now subs in. And that's what we spoke about, the bench play. You go from tall to taller. And more skilled, in my opinion. Yeah. She has that, that mid-range shot. She has a three-point shot. <laughs> She's got good footwork. Foot hooks. Floater. Great job, nice athleticism there. And reading the defense is Marine Fotox, as she has six points. Bong. There's one of your favorite players, Han Chu. They look for her, shot clock. Wong's gonna have to put it up. She doesn't, Stop it's it. good. Stop it, Shona. I'm not sure what more France can do defensively. Seven points now. Williams in, out, penetration. Michel. Michel from the free throw line is good, and the referee giving a flopping signal there. And good job by Sarah Michelle there. Needed three screens from Siak. Well, you talked about the three-point shooting. She tried to use the board on that shot is Hong Shu. Chartereau, she's been quiet. But that three-point shot in the corner hits nothing but net. I like that, and we spoke about that, right? Gabby drawing, bringing the defense, and then hitting Chateau wide open. Li Yuan, extra pass to the shooter, and make that another one for Huang Xijing. Goodness me, what a game do we have on our hands. China three, uh, excuse me, five from 10 from the three-point line. 10 points for her now. Siak goes inside the mismatch. Chartero, no need to dribble though, because when you dribble, the defense comes. Williams off the backboard. Siak for the offensive board, and it's going to go out of bounds and stay France ball. You're right about that. Chartero just needs to catch and go up. She's right under the rim. You don't have time to put that dribble. As soon as you put that dribble in, here comes all the little Chinese. <laughs> the small players to come and steal it. Williams just goes right at Hong Chu, who blocks her. And how about that? You just throw it up in the air. You tell her to go get it. She keeps it high and finishes over the smaller French defenders. Yeah, there's nothing Fotox could really do there. Michel into Badian, gets it back. And now Michel 
turnover. China, Wu Tong Tong. Oh, miscommunication there, but good defensive possession by Michelle to get back and get that ball back. And now here, an easy layup for Gabby Williams. Nice pass by Sarah. Yeah, perfect pass. And France need to take care of the ball. That, that's a 6 9 post play with long arms. You can't just throw it up there. Well, Li Yuan is off the mark. Chartero, nice start for her in this game. Williams inside to her, and that's going to be a foul. So good pass, pick and roll there by the French offense. I like that for France, really picking, as this is the nice looping pass right on the money for Gabby Williams. Um, Lee, number four, sorry, is obviously much shorter and with putting her in the pick and roll, she has to switch. You have the mismatch. Good job by the uh, French. She goes one from two. The first free throw that yeah. they've missed. Five from six. Huang beat Chartreau a few times. And I'm not, I was just about to say, I'm not sure that was a play on the ball, at least from our angle. And the referee agrees with me as he is going to call an unsportsmanlike foul. Let's take a look at this. Well, yeah. She got beat off the dribble and just grabbed her from behind. So I think she's trying to say, call the foul before. <laughs> she's going to have to be careful. Well, Coach Tupan is taking Chartero out. Good, good decision. Yeah, she got a little heated and yeah, just let her calm down a little bit. And even though I have the impression it's been all China this quarter, France are only behind six now after that made free throw. Yeah, they're sticking around. They are yeah. sticking around. Let's not forget we're getting really excited because China are hitting big shots. But France are doing their part also on the offensive end. And the biggest thing for France, for me, heading into this game was who's going to score? Huang. Gets it back. Lee Yuan, deep three-point shot. And that's going to go out of bounds and France ball. France are doing a really lovely job in picking who they want to have the shot. Obviously, it's a high percentage, a higher percentage around the rim. And they're really forcing China to have to shoot the ball outside. Jump shot, Williams. That might have been touched. And I think she's saying I was foul, but I think the block should go to Han Shu. Well, either way, China ball. Yang to Han Shu. Nice slip. They missed her, though. What about that? How good is your passing? That's Zhang Ru. And Lee had multiple <laughs> options at the rim. She had uh, both players under the rim. That was lovely. Kim France, answer. Williams. Penetration gets it to repair. Torre has to put it up. And we saw her hit one at the end of the first quarter. That one is no good, though. That was solid defense from China. 24 seconds, and France has to throw up a shot. Great defense by China.
Huang. And a hustle for the ball is going to stay China ball with 4.4 seconds left See on what the I shot mean? clock. Yeah, France doing a good job yeah. in the pick and roll. Really, uh, well, they know they want to try and find the rolling bits. Yes, yeah. yeah. Really making China I have would too. to. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> really making them have to, uh, you know, have a second decision, second making second guess. And nice touch there by Williams. Still China ball, 3.7 seconds now. Quick handoff to the inbounder. Oh, what a play. And just heads up awareness by Yang. So smart. They knew exactly what was on the clock. They really did. Yeah. And it France, was a, did France it. fell asleep yeah. a little bit. Yeah, they did. Biakani with the floater, the little step back, sidestep. They get the ball back. Trying to find the mismatch into Rupair and they turn it over. Li now wants to slow it down for once for China. Yang Li Wei draws the foul on Bajian. Well, that shot's not going to count even if you hear the fans that they want it to. Yeah, China fans have really filled up this arena. They've opened up the top tier of the uh, Sydney Superdome. Lovely arena. And Williams will take a well-earned rest for two minutes Oh wait, We'll see if she comes back out. Sarah Michelle with the steal off the inbounds pass. And she scores the fast break layup. So good job there by France. This is what they need, right? Two minutes left in the quarter. Can they cut into the lead a little bit? Lee. Really no movement here by the Chinese players, but she takes it all the way on her own. It is Lee Yuan. Wow, Lee, nice finish. They didn't have much and she figured out something. Incredible finish. Yeah, you said it, Azania. Torre picked up her dribble. And Rupair is just held by Zhang Wu. Yeah, both kind of tied up there, playing arm wrestle with each other. And well, I think it was a good job by Rupair to maybe hook to start with. Very smart. They do that in the, the French League, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah. You think they're the only <laughs> country that does it? <laughs> no. So, new shot clock. Michelle. Again, they're trying to go inside because China are switching. And that was a tough angle. Tough angle, tough pass. Keep it simple. And I know she'll be disappointed with herself there. Now, Lee. Getting some big minutes here in this first half. Number four for China as they get it to Li Mong. To Yang, she hit one. Boy, that looked good. Rimmed in and out. Berkini is left open. Shot rolls in and out. Repair there for the offensive rebound and put back. So China coach Zhang Wei wants to talk about it with 38.9 seconds remaining in this quarter. And that's a good timeout. You want every moment to execute, but France need to concentrate on this. Anyway, let's listen in to the timeout.
是，他们都上位啊。对，一点，一点。快快点，快点！ Well, you saw the assistant coach from China, the only thing that we could understand in that timeout at the end, saying, hey, they're going to be really aggressive. They too have two, two fouls to give, France, so take care of the ball. Yang. Huang gives it back up to Li Yuan, who's had a great half. And shot clock now is under 10. Hong Chu. And nice penetration, easy two point basket for Li Yuan. And she's playing lovely. Lovely. This first <laughs> half, hasn't she? Sometimes we haven't even seen her in the game. And she executed that timeout. Perfectly. Well, they don't know what is going on as Badian's shot almost goes in, but not a great possession when they had 15 seconds left on the game clock to end that second quarter. So at halftime, we have China up 11 over France, 50 to 39. Uh, for me, and the stats is the six from 13, shooting 46% from the three-point line. China are on fire from outside. They better run them off. The rebounding game falling to China, 15 to 13. The assists, let's talk about that, 14 to eight. We spoke about the, uh, China having 45 assists in one of these games. And then Williams with 10 and uh, Hung for... for the leading scorers. So timeout, uh, excuse me, halftime is here. Show now, if you are France, what do you say to get back into this game? I think you need to remind them about how well they were playing at the end of that first quarter. Oh, after the timeout, really. Yeah. And Maybe. they were more aggressive. They had more fluid movement on offense. Defensively, I'm not. We know China are going to be able to score. Offensive rebounds to putbacks. Limit that, and it's only, you know, a six-point game almost. Okay. But offensively, and I, we questioned it before the game, who else is going to score for France? Yeah, well, you've got Futuks on uh, six. Chateau on, uh, excuse me, yes, she's on eight. And then Gabby Williams on ten. So they've got some production, and one of those production was that three-point shot that we just saw but also the transition for China is so dangerous they turn you over or even a missed shot and we've seen uh, France score they get the ball in and they're down the other end so it's important for France not to fall asleep they cannot have any mental lapses in the second half yeah you said it as Ania Second chance points, 14 compared to just two for France. For me, that's the difference. I think if they can take away those 14 points or even just cut it to four or six, mm. you're right in this game because it is true. 39 points for France is actually a big scoring outing for them, yeah. considering they're only averaging 64 points a game. Yeah, you're right. And uh, China's right on their mark, scoring 50 in the half. You know, they've put up 100 uh, most of the tournament. So well, timeout is needed. Uh, the I agree. Half time, excuse me. We need a cup of tea, don't we? So we will be right back. Don't go far because we have a game for you. China leading France 50 to 39. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands? It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Okay, has Wallace, takes her one-on-one -on -one and hits it. Yeah. 
Her eyes light up when she plays against Australia. This is just a phenomenal performance. A little slippery at midcourt, going strong to the oh. hole. Holy smokes! And Juan Garantes! Help her up, she needs you. She's laying out everything for Puerto Rico. Tabich, deep shot, he's good, folks! Goodness me, I thought, why did she shoot that? 3.5 seconds. Five seconds on the shot clock. She's nowhere near the basket. Has to pull up from deep, and she hits it. It doesn't oh, matter. Oh, my goodness. She was in the car park on that shot. Nice little turnover here. Defense feeding offense for the Opals. No look past George on the block, waiting for it. And it counts. Australia feeling themselves. And Williams just goes hard to the basket, and that's going to count, folks. So a three-point play opportunity for Gabby Williams. Anderson surveying here. Will drive in a little left. There comes the double. Shaw Joe throws it up. Oh! Now they're running. And what a fake pass. And then the pass to Lee Yuiru. Beautiful tongue tongue. Little fake behind the pass. Nice. I love it. Gray off the elbow this time. Falling down. Has wow. a chance for a three point play. Did you see that shimmy? <laughs> a little shimmy on the way down. Shaking out of it, a little crossover. And nice, smooth action on the jump shot. Oh, goodness me! Amy here says, get that out of here! Currently halftime here at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup at the Sydney Superdome. China playing exceptionally well. They have an 11-point lead over France at halftime, 50 to 39. And as always, Zania Stewart, Gabby Williams coming up big for France in the first half. Well, you know she's coming <laughs> up big. She's the, the star, and this was a beautiful shot from her, that nice little jump shot. And we've asked the question, who else is going to assist to her? Because she's got 10 points in this first half. I think she's done a good job also uh, driving and kicking. You spoke about mm -hmm. that. I kind of like that point of the defense are so worried about her because she's such an offensive threat. She's drawing the defense and then kicking. And her teammates are finally hitting those open shots. She could really be... Uh, well, they're sponsored by Jordan. <laughs> How she floats and uh, flies in the air. It's really something special. And the top scorer of China, one of your favorite players, Li Mong. What can you say about her? her, especially her first quarter? Well, what can we not say about her? She points to her team. She's just all over the place here. So smart, drives 
gets the and one. She finds her spot so well, and this is why she's one of our favorite players, <laughs> because she really works hard. If you see her in the offense, she's really sprinting to her spot. She comes off screens very tightly, uh, and she's aggressive. And she has those 12 points in 11 minutes wow. of play, Azania. What do you think about that? And she's very efficient. But I spoke at the top of the broadcast. She took 23 shots in their Belgium game. Uh, so she shoots a lot. A lot yep. of offense goes through her. She's got the ultimate green light. <laughs> the ultimate it's so bright uh, and there you see the 12 points and the other leading uh, assists and rebounds in the game yeah Huang Xijing one of my favorite players and I knew that they were keeping her until the push to the finals and we've seen it here tonight as she has almost played the entire first half she has that 12 points. There she is, number 11. And she's the so, uh, Xi Jing. player to focus on. 12 points, three rebounds, and four assists. And she's been solid for China. China out early for their warm-up. We're still waiting for France. They probably need a bit more time uh, to draw up and to get some last minute information across so if you are france in that locker room right now shona what what are you going to say getting back into this game what are the keys to chip back well i have to be encouraged with the way that my team came out offensively 39 points i said just at the end of that before halftime it's a good outing for france offensively considering the only real offensive threat we've seen consistently from France has been Gabby Williams. We've had other players step up, knock down some shots. I thought Alexia Chartereau was much better looking for her shots, knocking down her shots as she has eight points. Let's also not forget Mina Torre coming in, six points for her. And again, Marine Fotux, I think she missed a couple opportunities, a couple looks where she needs to take that responsibility when she's open. Even if I know it's intimidating, you have a very tall defensive player in front of you. you the big's helping off a little bit in Lee and Hong Chu, but you still have to be able to put them up because you gotta get them to guard you. And then I think it's gonna open up and you're gonna find mismatch underneath. We saw quite a few turnovers for France. They have eight in that first half, trying to pass into the mismatch though. Yeah, you're correct. And uh, for me, I like that the French really picked on the post players of China. They brought them out into the pick and roll, really making them have to move their feet, decide if they're going to switch, decide if they're going to stick with their player. And they were really successful. Here come the French to uh, start their warm up with about three minutes left to the second half. So I, if I'm France, I'm doing the same thing, really who's guarding me, uh, take the big post player, put them in the pick and roll and make them have to defend. Yeah, honestly, get back, play defense, no second chance points if you're France, and try and maybe force China to shoot. I know they're a very good shooting team from outside, but Li Yuan, number four for China, she came in, she had two great penetrations to the basket. You know what, if she wants to shoot it deep, have a hand up Go instead ahead. of letting her penetrate to the basket. Because right now, points in the paint, China are out outscoring France 24 to 14. So we mentioned her, Alexia Chartereau, eight, eight points, points, 101, three or four from the three point range, free throw range. What do, you, what do you think she needs to do a little bit better to stay maybe more of a consistent threat, threat for France? Uh, I think she's doing a good job, to be honest. She's being solid. Uh, she's getting to her position. She had that nice little layup with the foul with her arm being caught down. Nothing much. I don't think there's too much you need to overdo. Keep it simple. Uh, work hard to get your positioning to make it easier, as Sarah Michelle will say a last few words to them. But that was an exciting first half of basketball. I, I think I might need a little drink uh, because 25-25 at the end of the first quarter uh, China went on that incredible run and they scored another 25 points in that second so 
I would like France to come out in this third quarter and, you know, really insert themselves. They cannot afford to have any silly mistakes, any unforced errors or turnovers because China really capitalize on those moments. Well, there we heard Coach Tupan wanting his players to run more pick and, pick and roll situations in the middle of the key as he thinks that's a weakness defensively for China. So let's find out if this, China, if this French team can put China in that kind of a situation. Well, download your World Cup app right now and get all the highlights, news, stats, follow your favorite team at this year's FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. Welcome back, second, second half action underway here at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. Do we have a game for you? China currently leading by 11 over France as almost a steal, but it's gonna stay France ball. Even though the Chinese bench disagrees with that, I thought she tipped it. No, she did. And she even said so as well. Oh, okay. Talked about they wanted a screen in the middle and that's exactly what they got as Williams just scores over Young. Yeah, do you see what I mean? That pick and roll takes the post player out and Gabby Williams is fast enough and strong enough to get to the rim. Huang. Tough three point shot is good in the face of Anna Tadic and she was hot in the first half. Do you see her just shake her head? <laughs> Nothing you can do. Futux. Back to Williams. Nice find. Williams three-point shot is good. So a great response there by France. Yeah, nice. 15 points for Williams. Great drive by Futux. And uh, found Williams yeah. behind her. Yeah, it was yeah. a great connection between the two of them. Young. Gets it to the hot hand. Over to Wong. Lee now, a little crossover, goes all the way to the basket and she somehow scores. How did she <laughs> score that? She literally squeezed her way through and finished. Lovely shot by Lee. Futux, little step back, she's open. She needs to shoot that and yep. that's what I talked about. I think she needs to be more aggressive. I understand it's intimidating. Yeah, with the tall defender. Good decision there. The separation between her and the post player. You've got to shoot it and you've got to make it. Nice defensive play. Ball back to France. So good job coming out of the half is France as they have cut the lead to nine. Well, we spoke about this, right? We needed, uh, the French needed to get a good start in this first two minutes. Really good action between them and uh, really having to make China make second decisions and movements on the defensive end. Futux almost loses it as Wang Tong Tong, Wu Tong Tong, excuse me, is all over her defensively. She finds Chartreau on the rise. That's a good shot by France. Now Wu Tong Tong pushing it for China. An easy call by the referee there. That's a good defensive play if you're, I think, if you're France as well, because 
we know how dangerous China are when they have a little bit of an advantage in the fast break, right? Yeah, and that's a, her own, uh, her second foul, so she can afford to take that one for the team. Young, Li Wei, hot hand, good defense. Tadic tips it, Futuk comes up with it. She finds Williams. Her pull-up jump shot is good. Pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty in her bag right now, Shona. Well, the last time these two teams played against each other was back at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup qualifiers in Belgrade, Serbia, with China winning big 103 to 70 as they go inside to Lee. And that's a good foul. Again, I know it's now the second team foul, but I think that's a pretty good foul as it, it would have been a two easy points for Lee inside. Yeah. And Tadic said, I want a three second call referee. She's building a house in here. And here's Gabby Williams go to jump shot. And we see Sia now will come in for a few minutes. Well, Siak, the tallest player on this French team. What about this? How good are you when your four player can come off a stagger screen and shoot like that? That shot, though, rolls in and out as Williams shaking and baking. They have the mismatch. Michelle, tough take. It's going to stay France ball. Chartero kicks it up to Michelle. They have the mismatch again is Siak, but they just can't find her. Williams loses it. Shot clock. Deep shot is off the mark. Nice defensive possession there by China. So ball back to them. Really good possession pushing Gabby out further and further from the paint. Well mishandled it there. Yep. Check to throw it up. I think because they're so good at scoring this Chinese team that we don't give them enough credit defensively as well. And a steal by Siak. Lovely hands by Siak. And Williams almost turns it over, but Chartero is able to get it back and a nice score inside. And five now this fan, yeah, <laughs> five point game, folks. There's a semifinal spot at play here as Lee almost travels. She does. She does. And so we spoke about it at halftime. Just chip away at that score. Get good defensive stops here. We see the travel. She's dancing uh, here in the Sydney Superdome. That's not allowed. But guess who checks in? Who? On Chu. Oh, yeah. They're so talented. I mean, Lee goes out and they get to bring in someone even taller. Nice penetration by Fortux. And that's what I'm talking about. She needs to attack that big. Yeah. Great jobs by Fortux. Guess who's got the ball, Lee. And Lee kicks it out to Han Chu. She's so talented, I'm not sure <laughs> I've seen a woman her height with as soft an outside touch as she has. Siak now from Williams, what a pass and roll situation. Great job, France. And they are, there's, you can feel a fire somewhere in there yeah. where they want to win this. They don't think that they are not as good as China. Huang to Li Mong. And a fight for the ball. And China come up with that possession. Great from both women there, putting their body on the line. Diving is so important, every possession here. Chateau and then Sarah Michelle, everyone's on the floor. So. Ball to China, 14 seconds, we hear the fans.
Yang Li Wei gets it back. She's open at three. That shuts off. Fotuk's now pushing it for France. She's got Rupert running with her. Nice bounce pass. Oh, she had a layup. Kicks it out, though. Fotux. Nice start to this half. Way to protect the ball and a nice take and layup by Marine Fotux. Oh, I love it, Shona. Fotux taking on the big, puts the Jets on and gets rewarded. Well, Siak, why not? She's come up with a steal like that a few possessions ago, right? Getting up, putting some pressure on the bigs outside the three-point line. And here's this take by Marine Fotux. Good job of keeping Fantastic the defender job. on the back and shooting far out enough that you couldn't block her layup. Hey, I need to take my jacket off because I'm starting to sweat. We've got ourselves a game, one-point game, Shona. Well, now one of the best scorers on this China team. She attacks off the mark. Michelle there for the rebound. And did you see that defense there? They're not worrying about the roll. They're just going yeah. two straight to Lee. Great. You have to. Yeah, great <laughs> scout, good defense. She's not passing the ball. She's a green light. And Marion Fotux, it's going to stay France ball. Gabby Williams checks back into the game. Williams gives it up to Rupert to Fotux. Got two on the clock, they need to get Puts something off. Up. A tough, tough shot, well off. Han Chu with the rebound. And now Yang Li Wei. She's going to go all the way, but no, she kicks it out to a trailing Huang, who's been quiet this half. Nice foot bar, foot work, excuse me, by Han Chu, but she can't score. Han Chu to Young. Oh, nice pass, goodness me. And it's going to be an and one call. And what a pass from the captain to the big woman. Look at this, Shona. Just throws it up. Go get it. And really, she caught that yeah, little alley-oop action. <laughs> nice. Could be a top play for sure. She knew where her big was. And she finishes. And she's going to the line. And the fans love it. <laughs> And makes the and one play. So lead back up to four. Three minutes left in the third quarter. That on ball screen in the middle was working. Marie Fotox is fouled on her three point shot attempt. So great job by Marie Fotox here in the second half. Yep. You gotta yeah. let them yeah. land. It's not even land. You gotta let have a <laughs> follow through, hun. Uh, but that time, China did have that play down. They saw a sign, and they were ready for it. So they've done their scout. So that was great. Fotux decided to put a shut up. Gets the foul and has three at the free throw line. Well, we know both these teams had yesterday off, and I'm sure yesterday was spent recovering. Yeah. Massage. Yep. Ice. And then scout, right? And scout. <laughs> Probably not much else. Yep. And that shot rolls out. Well, she's got one more. Well, two for three. Nothing but net on that third attempt. And now Li Yuan into the game for China. She had a great first half, I she think. Did some maybe defensive breakdowns by France when defending her, and that's a turnover. 
good job getting back on defense is China, though. Williams stops, pops. Her shot is off the front of the rim. Hall and two. And good job by Torre, but they're going to call a foul. I believe it was on the pass. Could be wrong. Yeah, I couldn't see from the angle that we're sitting at. Uh, maybe, our, yep, our friends upstairs will give us the replay. Thank you. We appreciate you guys also. But here, Shona, France over the limit now. So this next two minutes as the ball rims out, two minutes, 27 seconds, every foul, China will go to the line. So five foul, team fouls to one. Only shooting in the 60s here today. And they average around 76 a game in this tournament, 76%. From the free throw line? Yeah. OK. But not shooting as well is there at 67 now with that make. Williams to Torre. Birkini goes inside. They find Williams to the corner. Tough crossover. She misses that shot. Wong comes up with the board. Li Yuan stops, pops, and it's good as she looks to the crowd and celebrates. And I said, you know what? Let her shoot from outside. Don't let her drive on you. Yeah, she's not listening <laughs> to you. As she puts three to the gods, that's a nice three-point shooter. Badian out to Williams. Offense has become a little difficult to come by here for France the last few possessions. Bercani with a running three-point shot. But Badji in there for the offensive rebound. Nice take is Bercani who cannot finish. So missed opportunities. I mentioned it the last few times down for France. Not the best offense that we've seen in this game. No, but nearly a turnover here. No, but that's a good idea because Futuk's had that same wide open drive. Uh, Bercani. And this was the three-point shot. Nobody guarded her, walked straight into it, said, thank you very much, I'll take that. Where was the transition defense? There was three blue defenders back. Yeah, nowhere to be seen. Huang, big first half. Li. Li. Gets it to the shooter, Li Mang. And she is fouled as Minya Torre says, no, go check the flopping, but it's going to be three free throws for Lee Mung. Well, they're calling it on both ends here. Let's have a look. She might be. We need right. a different angle, yeah, I think. Can we get the feet involved? <laughs> I need to see the whole body <laughs> replay. Uh, but the referee's calling it on both ends. They're protecting the shooter. They're very adamant on that. The shooter must be able to, one, land, and two, follow through. So now it's been a game of runs this entire game, but especially in the third quarter, France came out on fire. Both ends, digging down, getting stopped, scoring on the offensive end. And the last three minutes, China have settled down and started to make their own little run as they are now back up eight. Rupair, her three-point shot is flat. Ball is going to stay France. And another thing, we've talked about Iliana Rupair, who has had an amazing 13 months, let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah. well-deserving, incredibly talented, had a great season in Euro Cup, FIBA Euro Cup this year professionally with Borge, was in Las Vegas, as we know. Maybe she's a little tired. What yeah. do you think? Penetration, Chartero is in the corner. That shot's off. Williams with the offensive board. Williams is all over the place right now, isn't she? Driving, kicking, rebounding. And... 
There's going to be a tie-up, and I believe the foul is going to go against Zhang Wu, number 10 from China. So nice screen there by Rupert. But that's only China's second team foul. Birkeny gets it back, passes up to Williams. Shot clock's at eight. Williams just attacks Hong Chu, can't score. They got 14 seconds on the game clock. Yong Li Wei. Li Meng. They know they have time, but not too much time as repair. Well, I would have been out of my seat had she made that shot, I but she breath. didn't. <laughs> you held your breath. You weren't saying anything. So at the end of three quarters, we have a ball game, folks. Don't go far. China leading France 66 to 58. Well, France won that quarter, Shona, 19 to 16. So that was a massive quarter for the French on the defensive end. And then uh, shooting 18 from 32, 56% for the twos. Both teams get into the line. Uh, France shooting a better clip from the free throw line. But guess what? We get to watch the best plays of the third quarter. And wow, was that action packed. Three point shots, driving putting their bodies on the line. I can barely breathe, people. I'm having to hold my breath and then shout and then enjoy. I'm oh. standing up, I'm sweating. What an, a, great, a great quarter final. This is really both teams putting it on the line as Gabby hits that shot, really putting it on the line because they know it is win or go home. And that home trip for France is really far. So they are giving it <laughs> everything they can this evening. We talked about this on game day one. I thought this might be one of the best or most competitive FIBA Women's Basketball World Cups we have seen recently. And it is exactly what we're seeing here tonight in this quarterfinal game, China against France. Let's not forget, let's talk about it a little bit while we have some time. Yeah. France ended up finishing fourth in Group B because they lost to Serbia on the last group That's phase day, right. 62 to 68. Had they won, that game meant nothing for Serbia. They just wanted to beat France. Yeah. Because Serbia, Ivory. no matter yeah. what, really weren't going to finish in the top two. Had France won, and I think they could have, yeah. if you had watched them throughout the tournament, guess what? They would have finished first or second and not even had to come up against China, China until, until the semifinals. semifinals. <laughs> well, there we go. Well, this is the fourth quarter, the final quarter of action. Ten minutes left, folks, here at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. We have China up eight on France. This is a ticket to the semifinals. Li Yuan. Oh, nice block by Rupert. You don't want to foul in this kind of a situation. They turn the ball over, and it's going to be an easy fast break layup for Ileana Rupert. So great de defense there by France out of the timeout. No, out of the quarter. Out of the quarter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> great defense, solid defense from them, and they get a wide open, probably their easiest look this evening. Han Chu still in the game for China. She gets it back. What a shot. How do you block that? You can't. How do you defend that? She's 6'9". <laughs> so once she gets that ball above her head, what's that? I don't even know. Eight foot, nine foot. They go inside to repair. Michelle thought about it. Passes it back. Ileana repair from the corner, and it's good! And a scream out from repair. She knew how big that three-point shot was. Young is fouled hard by Rupert, not able to make it, but she's going to get to go to the free throw line. That will now be uh, Ileana Rupert. As you see, that block, that was great. Shot right, right into her hands. That is her third foul. Um, so they're probably telling her over there, hey, 
to run three fouls. Be careful. What would you do? I mean, if you were Coach uh, Tupan, you leave her in, you yeah. say, you know what, eight minutes. Be smart. Okay. Yeah. It's too crucial at this point in the game. As Yong Li Wei knocks down that free throw. And now back up to six for China. Williams. Hotooks to Michelle. Now they go back to Williams. You know, I like that screen in the middle of the court, but now they're setting screens. Almost a turnover by Williams. Hotooks has to let it go. Her three-point shot is off. A wide open mismatch. Yeah. They find it. They've got to make sure they match up. And uh, Jean Aimé Tupin says, Nope, I've had enough. Stop the bleeding. Look at this. They get the beautiful mismatch. Just throw it up there. She keeps it high. Lovely finish. So, you know, in that kind of a situation, Fotox is. She's stuck. Yeah. Do you foul before the ball is even kind of passed, or does Chartreau foul? before you know, it even gets in to just stop the play, say, we don't want to give up two points, let's take a foul. We'll talk about it after the timeout. Well, Can I Coach John and Mae Tupan and I are on the same page as he said exactly what I did. He goes, get back defense if you have to, foul before the pass even gets in. There you go. Shona, if you didn't know, is fluent in French, so she is my translation and yours this evening. That's a great point. And I think it just happened so fast, though, that she found herself <laughs> stuck, that sometimes you don't know what to do, you know? And, and she'll learn in these situations. So that score back up to eight, as Williams now brings it up for France. Siak on the court. Finds Michelle, who is wide open at the top of the key. That is off. Chartereau runs down. The offensive board gives it up to Fotux. Fotux now attacking the big. She's had success. Not that time. As Li Yuan comes up with the rebound. And she just goes all the way, passes to Han Chu. And you need to stop the ball and get back on transition defense if you're France and want to win this game. Or you don't blink because they score <laughs> real quick. You miss it. France must answer now. Futsuk trying to find Chartereau, but Huang read that pass well. Isn't able to come up with it. But now France only have nine seconds on the shot clock. Williams, oh, just can't hold on to it. Finds Sarah Michelle in the corner, and that three-point shot is good. Well, they're not going away, Azania. Good shot by uh, Michelle. She had plenty of time. She has seven points. Lee Mong. That shot's off the mark. So she started well. She's cooled off here in the second half. Yeah, she has, but she has to shoot she that. She still has 16 points. Yeah, no, sh she's doing well. <laughs> And she's got to shoot that. She's got to keep herself uh, looking for her own offense. Williams to Michelle. She knocked one down. And that shot's off the mark, but ball bounces to Gabby Williams. Sorry, Michelle's shot was off the mark. Ball bounced to Gabby Williams, and her three-point attempt was no good. But good job there by that woman. Siak getting some good minutes today. We saw she's only played in three games for France in their five group phase games. 
So this is why you have a tall player on your roster. Well, that's one thing you can't teach is height. Michelle. Dump pass to Siak is well read by Han Chu. Ball's out of bounds. There's 3.5 seconds on the shot clock for, China, for France. Well, for China to defend. <laughs> Repair. We have Botox open in the corner off the front of the rim. Are we seeing some tired legs? Repair. Repair is no good. So now Li Yuan, smallest player on the court, picks up the ball. They've even got a. I don't know. Well, you can Coffee hear the more. Chinese yeah. fans not happy that they haven't called fouls. And now Li Yuan, deep three-point shot is off the mark. Thank we you. know there's 6,200 yeah. here tonight. And out of those 6,200 people in attendance. 6,000 are Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> well, Williams. Right here, this is where sometimes France, I question their offense. In these kind of situations, behind the back pass to Ileana Rupert cannot bounce in. And you see the frustration on Rupert's face there as she missed that shot. She couldn't get a better look than that. And just a little disjointed, and this is not the time, France, to get out of sync. You've done so well. But hey, China's defense are locking up really making them have to think uh, and making it tough. Li Yuan. Li Yuan. For three and it's good. Right on time, baby. I told you, she'll keep shooting. She's a shooter and she's a scorer. 19 oh. points. Double digit lead now for China. And that is going to be a moving screen call going against Rupert and France. It's only their second team foul, though. Yeah, that's fine. But the referees have been really honing down onto the screens. If you do not set your feet and maybe that leg was just out a little further. But I kind of, I think that's a solid screen. What's any, anything different? But maybe the trip. Um, I but thought Lee Yuan did a good job of running into the screen and maybe exaggerating the contact a little bit. Yeah. Uh, France have called a timeout, so we get to listen in. We get to see highlights, and uh, you're going to give me the translation as I'm smiling as the kiss cam is going on in the arena. The Mizu. Mizu in French is kiss. Mizu. Mizu. Well, there you see the Chinese players as they celebrate that last three pointer by that woman. Limong, 19 points today, four of eight from downtown, and China ball. Huang. France here switching a lot defensively. Li Yuan, she penetrates. That is a tough reverse layup. No good. Futox comes up with the rebound. And that timeout was all about running a sort of quick hitter opportunity to Fran for France to get a quick shot, I think. Chartero back to Futox. Futox drives. Finds Ileana Rupert, Sarah Michelle open at three off the front of the iron. R Rupert's right there. I know she's got a taller player on her, but she's got to catch and go up to the rim. She's looking to pass and look for her own offense right now. 
Anyway, good stop. Player of the China. game so far, Li Meng, but number nine. Oh, almost turns it over, somehow does it, and then makes that. I'm in shock. How did she do that? She nearly, well, she does turn over the ball, gets the ball back, and, she, <laughs> and gets her own, whoa, 21 points. Yeah, great def defense, really. Sometimes the ball just bounces the wrong way, and we're seeing that the last few minutes here for France. Rupert, nowhere to go. Gives it up to Michelle. She's going to have to put it up, and she does. But a foul is going to go against China. So France, luckily, will get the ball back with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, good call by the referee there. Williams, jump shot. Off the mark, fight for the offensive board. Malin Futuk's deep three-point shot is good! Futuk is having the game of her life and maybe her career right now. 17 big points from that girl there, number four, Futuk. Oh, wide open, nice pass is Zong Ru. And just a miscommunication. And that's a solid screen. Well, Futuks with that last big three-pointer down. They're down 11. They need some scoring. They've gone quiet other than that three by Marine. Tough take. No foul. China running. Nope. They're going to use the clock. Smart move here by Very Liu smart. Yuan. And China are just over two minutes away. Can they hung on, hang on? Well, great defensive effort. Great defense. Eleven by point Sarah game. So everything is possible. Williams. Pass is picked off. Great hands by Huang Xijing. And right now, China are going to use as much clock because it is in their favor. Huang inside to Han Chu. Great job by Sarah Michelle. Unfortunately, the foul is going to be called against her, I think. So that's going to be three team fouls. And Michelle's second foul. 11 point game, Azania. What do you do? You need to get a good solid stop here and get down on the offensive end real quick. And so you go for a quick quick shot, you mean, on the offensive end? You don't want to... Three-point shots, and if not, oh. they're wide open, and they choose to run out the clock. China so intelligent here. The time is their friend. It's not the French. Huang Zijing, step back. Three-point shot is good! A knife, a dagger in the French's heart. Oh, Whoa. goodness me. They have been hiding that woman. Number 11 for China as Marine Futsuk now. A little shake and bake. That's a tough shot. And we have a minute left in the game. China with a comfortable 12 point lead and a technical foul is going to be called. How about Step that move? Back. Beautiful. Shuffle. Yep. So we have a technical foul called against China. And number four, Li Yuan. As that is how the ball is dropping in this fourth quarter for France. Gabby Williams missing the free throw. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, Upsetting and then uh, for France, but trying to get the ball back. And I'm going to the hot hand right now. Well, there's many hot hands, but the one for me is Wang Shijing is really just taking over this game as she has 18 points. They're going to kill the clock. The clock hasn't started. Yep, now it has. Hong Chu played most of the second half here as Wang Xijing misses that shot. Michelle 
Gets it to Fotux, Fotux to Chartero. Back out, almost a turnover. They need to score, and they need to score quick. And Matthew Fotux. Yeah, I think they took a little bit too much time off the, shot, off the clock, though. What do you think? Yeah, too long. I needed that shot about three, four seconds ago, but Fotux, 20 points for today. Look, a bent over Gabby Williams. I think this is, she's finally hit E on her tank. She's exhausted. Um, Shona. Yeah, Gabby Williams leading this French team in minutes played, 29 minutes a game. And boy, have they had to rely heavily on her. So the referees are going to go to the instant replay system. If it's a two or a three. Looks like a two. Unfortunately, a toe is right there. Mm, I don't know. We've got. Let's listen in. Sorry. Hey, please go away. Yeah. Anything else? How about this? Yeah, no. Come forward. Stop. Stop. Is there any other look right now that gives us the peak? Yeah, but it's it's. Please go away. Please go away. Okay, this one. Yeah, I have it. I have actually the left toe on the line. Yeah, left toe's on the line. Roll it. Okay, perfect. It's a two. Left toe's on the line. Left toe's on the line here. Yeah. Zoom it. Left toe's on the line. So we are going with the two. With the two. Closer, the yes. Line, we are going with the two. Yeah. Okay. After review, the ruling on the court is overturned from a three to a two. Lefty, left toes on the line. Well, Azania, we heard yeah, the explanation. Yeah. Well, considering we got two. about 20 <laughs> cameras in here. No timeout. Okay. We could uh, no time out. maybe got a different angle. We need one of those, uh, you know, in tennis when they, uh, and then they show. Oh, and yeah, the ball. If, it's, if it's in or not, yeah. we need the toe replay instead of the ball replay. Because that is so fine. That's minuscule. That's really a couple. That's not even a centimeter. So France trailing still by 12. They got to get a stop or a steal and get down and score quickly. Yang Liwei. Not if China has anything no. to do with they're it. They're going to lose. They're going to use as much clock as possible, right? Yeah. Young. And that's the right thing to do. Penetration. Nice cut. Back door is Li Meng. Holy and goodness cow. me, has she had a game? Has she had a tournament? Excuse me. Sarah Michelle. Penetration. That pass is intercepted. Almost. Kicks it out to Fotux. Fotux. Three-point shot, well off the mark, and that was desperation time as there is 6.2 seconds left, and the Chinese fans and bench are now finally celebrating. That needs, sorry, that replay right there, that no-look pass, top play, 100%. Beautiful basketball, and China have made it over the line. And there they are, running out and celebrating, and for good reason, as they have just defeated France at this year's FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup quarterfinal game, 85 to 71. Well, we can finally <laughs> breathe, Shona, because I, I took my jacket off, I stood up, I fist pumped for, for China, I fist pumped for France, incredible show of women's basketball in my opinion fantastic play from both teams probably the best game we've seen france play in this tournament exactly what you want at this point but it is all as we bow we pay respect to china because they are looking sensational you said it azania before the tournament started, I said, I believe that this China team should be on the podium at this tournament. And they have not disappointed. And we see it here tonight as you see the disappointed faces by France as they clap to their fans who have made it all the way out here in Sydney, Australia. But it was all China. France, some great runs. It was really a game of runs. 
They really became stagnant, though, in the fourth quarter. They had a hard time scoring, and when they can't score freely, it really just ends up becoming one-on-one -on -one basketball, which I don't think benefits France. I think you're right, and 63% uh, from the two for China, really lovely percentage. And overall, the rebounding game, the same, but the assist game, 23 for China, 15 for France. Pretty even across the board for steals. Well, who's your favorite player who scored the uh, 23 points there? <laughs> Limon and for three. Yeah, for three. And Futuks for me, sensational. We have to give her a round of applause. 19 points turned up this evening. Best plays of the second half. There was so much action. It started off with this easy run out and probably the easiest score France got this evening. They had to really work hard for their offense. But um, I'm enjoying this Chinese basketball and this team. They have really got something special and they look good for a medal. I just don't know what color. <laughs> I agree with you, Azania. And it's not just about their starters and their go-to players. Their bench performance is absolutely spectacular. Huang Xijing, number 11, she's been hiding from us. And I knew <laughs> that they were saving her. And for good reason, because she also came out and was spectacular tonight. Clearly she's fine because she played 38 minutes, six of 11 shooting, finishes with 18 points, five boards, and five assists for number 11 from China. Well, you know what they say, save the best till for last. last. <laughs> Same thing, I thought Li Yuan, who the last game of group face, didn't even play until the first quarter where she You're played right. a few minutes. She came in great tonight, 26 minutes off the bench, seven assists to go along with 10 points. But it was really all China. France went on a couple of runs, but China were in control the entire game. But also from China, a lovely spread. Pretty much everyone who touched the floor scored, but you had five players in double digits. That's very important as you go on to the next uh, phase, which is the semi-final, and they'll find out who they play, which will be Belgium or Australia. That's coming up next. What a wonderful day of basketball, Shona. I've really enjoyed that. That was so fun. Probably one of the best games I've called so far. I agree with you, Azania. I know the score is not really indicative of how excited we are about this game as China ends up winning 85 to 71. It was a lot closer than that all game long but China just a little bit too powerful for France here at the Sydney Superdome. Quarterfinals of the women's FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. What a game, and you see the smiles because China know they are moving on to the semifinals tomorrow afternoon. Well, that's it, USA beating Serbia earlier today, 88-55. Puerto Rico losing to Canada, 60-79. China over France just ended 85 to 71. Who will they play? We will find out shortly. Either Belgium or Australia. And there is the road to the trophy. Canada and US semifinal action tomorrow. China will either play the hosts Australia or the Europeans Belgium. Thanks for tuning in. Don't go far because we still have another quarterfinal game coming up for you shortly. From Shona Thorburn and Azania Stewart, what a great one here at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. Thank you and good night.